The sun rises on another race morning for Jacob Waters. It's the sound of preparation, the sound of competition. And for Jacob, it's the anthem that pushes him to his limits as a 14-year-old boy in the racing pack with seasoned adult cyclists. I wanted somebody to be able to go fast with, and they are perfect people to ride with. Speed, that's what this team chases, and it's landed him on a race team where he's blazing a new trail. He actually came to us and he asked us, he said, how old do you have to be to be on the race team? And, and you know, nobody ever asked that because everybody are adults, you know, and we said, well, how old are you? And he says, well, I'm, I'm 13 years old. So uh, we said, well, I guess you can uh, start out at 13. That'll be our age limit. A teen on an adult cycling team is a challenge in itself. But then you see Jacob gear up for a ride and you realize just how exceptional this kid really is. I just knew it would be easier to do everything once I had it amputated. Jacob was born with Jackson Weiss syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that caused his foot and ankle bones to not fully develop. Jacob underwent four surgeries and years of physical therapy. We were hoping through all of the physical therapy and through the surgeries that we would be able to save the leg and at some point he would be a normal two-legged person. As Jacob got older, ankle foot orthotics helped his mobility, but they could be painful and cumbersome. I remember one time I'd broken school, and luckily one of the janitors was able to fix it. It was hard for Misty to see Jacob struggle with sports. Everybody wants more for their child. They want him to actually win that race, and we knew that he couldn't, but it never deterred him. When Jacob was 10 years old, he was at a medical crossroads. They would have to go in and make my leg longer. Then they wanted to fuse my ankle to where it wouldn't move. So there's just going to be a lot of surgeries and a lot of pain to go through. Jacob asked for an amputation below his knee. And he said, Mom, just chop it off and give me a prosthesis. Long story short, that's what we did. Ten days later, Jacob was hiking with his Boy Scout troop. Then he fell in love with the bike. It was easier than running and walking, so that's what I decided to do. Jacob's cycling team traded out his old woman's bike for a new bike, and in October, he got his first cycling leg, keeping him leg in leg with his more experienced competitors. It's intimidating, but once you start riding, you see they're getting tired, it's not intimidating at all. Once they start to get tired, you're like, oh, I got this. Good job, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob, I don't think, knows any boundaries with regard to, to what he can accomplish. I think he's proven that to us time and time again. And even though Jacob has his own physical challenges, he's lending his legs to an organization that helps children with disabilities participate in races. When he walked away from me, I didn't even realize that he was an amputee. And so I was amazed um, by just him and his thoughtfulness. He's got a great amount of willpower and a huge heart. And what's great about it is he gives back to his community so much. They're so happy because they're actually getting to be athletes. And that's why I do it, just because it makes me so happy. Jacob Waters. His goal is to make it to Japan 2020 Paralympics, and then in 2024 to make the regular Olympics, and then after that, um, win the Tour de France. So <laughs> he's got it mapped out. If anything I set my mind to, I can do. I just got to keep trying. <laughs>